So this allows you to go into Street View. I absolutely love this application. And Hey guys, today I'm going to go through virtual desktop a little bit more in detail because there's obviously some updates they made around multiple monitor support and tracked keyboard support that I just want to show you if you guys aren't familiar with it. So virtual desktop is obviously your PC in VR. It's a paid application, but you can get 25% off if you use the voucher code in the description. I get $7 and you get 25% off. It does obviously stream your computer to your Quest and you allow multiple monitors, like some of the other apps. It does tracked keyboard support as well for some of the Logitech, the Logitech MX Keys mini keyboard. Then it also does some Apple keyboards. And then not only that, it does other things as well. You can see here you can launch PC VR. So PC VR, as you guys know, is streaming VR games from your computer to your headset. So you can see in front of me, it's got a few things like the game encoding network decoding, and I'm running a 4080S on this card. You need to wire up your computer to Ethernet so you can run it through CAT 6E. It says PC Ethernet. Um, then basically what you do is you can run Wi-Fi 6 or 6E through it. Best practice is a dedicated router for, for it, but it allows you to then play games from Steam. So you can see here, if I go to my library, I don't have a lot of games at the moment because I just got my PC. It allows you to play, allows you access to other applications. Like for example, this is Google Earth. I'll just play it for you guys so you can see how quick it is. This little screen in front of me here, you can just toggle off and on. In terms of the graphics, it's leaps and bounds ahead of the Quest 3. Let's go to this Manhattan, New York. Okay, so what's this? Uh, allows you to go into Street View as well, uh, and then you can just mess around here. Wow! So this is obviously New York. I've never actually been. I think I've been here once before. Um, let's see if we can. Whoa! There's a lot of so. So you can just see, like, I mean, this sort of thing, which is really cool. Um, and then I want to go down to the street level. Um, you can go around and walk around New York, uh, which in reality was pretty cool. And then if you want to go back up again, some of the other places you can go to. The cool thing about this application is if it's at night time, then obviously it's night time in here as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, and just allows you this level of immersion as well. I mean, this is free application um, and we can go down and check out the street level as well. Uh, and check out these guys, what's happening down here. Wow, this is pretty cool. Okay, let's get out of this uh, and let's go back to what I was actually supposed to be showing you. So this is virtual desktop. Um, so just out of this, you just go like there, you can exit VR. settings bluetooth we're going to pull down this little button over here so it's linking and then it says available and then we say pair and then we pair two three nine we push enter okay it looks like add it what that allows you to do is if we go to our browser we type in www.youtube uh, yahoo.com there we go so we got the browser sitting there which is cool and it works with our keyboard we go to this application okay so this is working now as well through this this is my pc screen over here i've got a few different windows this window you see over here on the left controller there's like a button and you can use that to to move that around and if you want to uh adjust it you can adjust it as well in terms of the size so if you want to make it a bit bigger you can do that and place it you know next to there if you want to do that so uh i'll just put it over here for now actually i'll just put it there put it wherever you want 
Now these controllers themselves, you can use them to uh, interact with the dough. So you can see here, if I just select that and go down, that then selects it and deselects it. And obviously you can move the windows around, as I mentioned, this button over here. There's different environments you can see over here. There's black void. So black void is just this, it's just the black void. Uh, pass through, so you can see my desk and my keyboards. Um, this is obviously Bluetooth keyboard connected to my Quest. Um, so we can go through a purple nebula as well. This is another environment. You can see these environments are really immersive and awesome. Uh, there is the home cinema as well, which has two bottles of wine and an awesome thing. Computer room, which I love as well. This is the computer room. Look around here, the guy from Oculus, Dark Cinema. Just sitting in a cinema chair. And here's your keyboard, so it's cut out over here. It's not like the other ones where, you know, you generally, um, you can see your hands, but also when you move the keyboard up, it sort of should track it. Um, yeah, it yeah, so as you, you put your keys here, these are your hands. So you can see your hands, blah, blah, blah. You move it up here. Doesn't quite work 100%, but okay so implementation sort of like it's good enough i think it's just better because you don't have those funny things around your hands so you can top really nicely but basically you can get away with just using your bluetooth keyboard and your controllers and you really don't need a bluetooth mouse now if you wanted to have a bluetooth mouse to control this um you can go in and you can go to quick settings and go to bluetooth and then you can say um get a bluetooth mouse so i've got one here this is also a logitech super cheap 240 mouse and you can just go like this to pair it and then it should come up on your quest you can go pairing and then we can say pair you should see this yep and the bluetooth mouse now works side here so you can control your different windows obviously you need to set your windows to how you want them but it works inside of your thing so uh the response obviously is not as um wired of oh man so obviously you can use it inside you and if we go outside of this application here we can also use our mouse inside here so this will also work inside or outside so you can zoom and then go straight into your desktop as well so so another cool thing is obviously you can use prey dogs uev uh, vr as well to inject uh, so you click on that and you open that up there so if what we wanted to do is if we wanted to launch a game like the cemetery we go in we double click on this game over here it should come up with the game launching on the PC and then you can come here and then you type UEVR over here and then you inject it like this so you double click on this UEVR and normally they recommend OpenXR for virtual desktop and then you select the game and you say inject there and now it's injected now what you do is you go into whoops you say launch VR and then it basically glitches a little bit but sometimes it'll work and the game has crashed as you can see so the game's crashed so that then obviously didn't work with that setting so to go back there you just exit out there and try that again there it is actually also in game as well you can see it's tracked which is pretty cool